a tensions boiling over in the country of Venezuela <laughs> between President Nicolas Maduro and opposition leader Juan Guaido. Protesters firing tear gas as Guaido calls for a military uprising. All right, how long is this going to take? Kevin Cork joins us live from the White House with how the U.S. could respond. Uh, Kevin, this is amping up. And no question, it's amping up, and we're hearing from senior administration officials that things are moving on the ground in Venezuela. That from my colleague John Roberts. Just moments ago, I also spoke with a senior administration official, and he said this is really about Russia and Iran doing all they can to maintain the status quo. They're backing Maduro. He also added that China has a hand in this. They really just want to be on the winning team. They don't care if it's Guaido or Maduro, but for now, it is Maduro still the incumbent in position. I can also tell you this, Marco Ruiz. Rubio uh, said on Twitter that it's the Chinese right now who are helping to shut down social media in that country. Juan Guaido also taking to Twitter. He said the people of Venezuela began the end of usurpation. At this moment, I meet the main military units of our armed force, initiating the final phase of Operation Freedom. Rubio then tweeted this after years of suffering. Freedom is waiting for people of Venezuela. Do not let them take this opportunity from you. Now is the moment to take to the streets in support of your legitimate constitutional government. Do not allow this moment to slip away. It may not come again. We also saw, as I mentioned, Rubio talk about China's influence in shutting down social media there. It's a fluid circumstance, folks. We're watching it. We're in contact with our sources here at the White House. I promise as I get more, I'll pass it along. But for now, back to you.